So here is um, the chicken coop that I'm working on. And uh, this is the roosting area. Um, I'll be able, to, uh, be able to just open the door and reach in here and grab the eggs. The eggs will be back in there, nice and dark. Um, here is their, you know, root, rooting around area. I may, um, I think I'm gonna probably put a, a screen on here, on the door, uh, some sort of window, or maybe just be able to open the door, maybe a better solution, and have it fenced in here so they can't get out. So they can just, I can open up the door, even though it may be a little dark there, I may have to do like um, a sliding door or something here. Um, all I need to do is put another piece of wood here, um, and here's one side, and maybe attach something up here, and I could do a sliding door or something. You know, maybe just slide over. I haven't decided yet. And over here, another entrance to the coop. And I did, as I put this wood down, basically to protect the metal and from the scratching and everything I imagine they're going to be doing. And I put some uh, some caulking in between. Um, and uh, hopefully this is going to do. I'm going to put a, a door in this side here. And they'll be able to basically go out into their little yard here when I let them out, basically. Have a little door that I can let them out. Um, so that's it. I still probably have to do some venting and other things. Um, I'm probably going to put a heat vent in up, up top here. I don't see any vents up here. Nope. So I'm probably going to put um, some venting. I get nice wind blowing this way. So at least it will cool. So maybe some uh, venting up top on either side. And on the top part is just my tools and stuff. So I've been organizing tools, found up house tools. And uh, as you can see, I built my own shelf. Uh, these are $70. To buy one large and two smalls is gonna cost me $70. Ridiculous, right? $75. So, like, all this I built, built as uh, very little money. These boards are very cheap on there. This is to stop the eggs from rolling out. <laughs> but anyway, Gallup's house in Japan. It's kind of like an Airbnb for individuals who want to learn about found ups and found ups are ideas for helping to save our planet. Um, you can stay here. At no cost, just become a member of Found Ups for as little as three bucks a month or whatever. When you come here, you can stay here, um, not indefinitely, for a week or two weeks or whatever, and help out. Um, our expectation is to help out three hours a day doing Found Up stuff. You may help out, um, you know, doing projects. Uh, we've got other projects along the river and stuff that I'm working on. So, um, kind of a, think of it as a Airbnb for sustainable living where I want to teach people basically how to transform their home, which basically is just, well, it just goes down in value and less property and taxes and land hasn't gone up, but there's really no benefit to creating a food forest, um, uh, you know, fish and chickens and having it all work together, composting, all of that. You can learn from me. It's not hard. And ultimately, everyone on the planet needs to start thinking this way and living this way and creating more food than they need to share with their neighbors to allow folks to be able to live for free, to come together um, and make the planet a better place. That's my vision. So come visit. We're also sitting houses in Shikoku. Uh, I plan to set up a house in Florida. If you want to set up a Found Up house, it's easy. All you need is become a patron of Found Ups. And then talk to me. I'll tell you. I'll teach you the next, next uh, things to do. Thanks.